Hello, it's LA up in the house today. I got another reading for my Libras from the date is, listen good, July 16th to the 20th. And I wanted, of uh, 2020, I wanted to get started. Please subscribe to my channel. I have a lot to say to y'all about this. And also, just remember, this is all for all Libras, not no Pacific one Libra. But here we go. Let's get off into it. Please subscribe. I really appreciate it. The miracle card. This card says, do you let someone in or do you pretend not to see them? You cannot shed out pain without shedding out pleasure. Kindness exists to lead magic and to integrity. Being a light, lighting the way for others, coming miracles. It says, uh, integrity, grief, gifts, and reward are the uh, key words to this. So basically what I say here, this is stop shedding the light out. Because you cannot shed out your pain. And you're trying to, somehow you're trying to hide it, Libras, but you need to stop that. Don't do that. That's a big no-no. Don't do that. And there's miracles possibly coming. As you can see, don't shut the angels out. Just remember, there's miracles that they're going to drop down on you. They're talking about, and here's an example. One day, Betty is given too much change after making a purchase, and she returned the extra money. A brilliant light burst from the stump of a dead oak tree in the center of the town. The citizens are bewildered by the sudden brightness, but neither question the sun, sparkler, nor change, nor cheating ways. One day a child asked it why it came. It tells her that it shines for all that is good in the world and appears when a good deed occurs. The resident dark field are touched and become more selfless. In other words, they stop being selfless. The next card we're going into, um, it says fear. Okay, somewhere down the line, somebody's got the energy of fear. So hold, let me see here. Fear could be a lot of things with people. You shouldn't let fear influence you on your life journey and what you're supposed to do. And But some people do let fear, a fear, uh, they get caught up in the fear and they can't handle it and they're scared and they don't have a reason to be. So hold on to just one second, 71. Okay, um, here we go. Fear. Basically, this card represents it's worry. It's fear and worry. But it's upright, so we're going to read it. A frightened woman looks down a ridge that drops sharply below her, though in the distance is a peace and safety her, a beautiful safety home. This card indicates that a fearful attitude has overtaken you lately and you can't seem to break away from the anxiety filled full view of things. In other words, you need to let go of that. You need to stop being there because that's going to hold you back. Hold the situation, hold your life back. So just let that go. Okay, let's go to, that was the 16th. Now we're going to the 17th. Now the 17th has... Uh, I pulled the card and it said prayer, which I don't mind because I need prayer every day. Believe me, everybody need prayer. <laughs> Get it, leave. Prayer. So pray for me. My prayers are answered. And you have to believe your prayers are answered because up in the heavens, they listen and they do answer. It says cool lemonade is a reminder that there is always a plan. If you were sidetracked from your past path, then you will be guided back to your true calling. You hear that? It's my most powerful thoughts are form, form a prayer of service fulfilled, clarity, destiny. This is a, just remember your prayers are being answered in the heavens. They hear you and they are telling me they hear you. So 
Whatever you're praying about on the 17th, if they hear you praying, they know you there and they're listening to you and they are going to help you whatever the problem is that you had. Okay, and then we got the card, Great Attitude. Okay, Great Attitude. You got, uh, hold on just a second. Uh, great Attitude, here we go. Okay, this card upright means a woman holds baby birds in her hands, listening to the song bird, birds in the tree behind her. She has a deep appreciation for the simple, sweetest sweetness of the world. Gratitude is conscious of great energy, and this card indicates that you are capable of moving into this powerful vibration. Now, in fact, it's the perfect time to focus on this conscious choices as the way of life. You have much to be grateful for, even if you don't always notice it. Your choice to acknowledge the many sources of values in your li life acts like a bacon in the universe, one that's drawn many more than a pre to appreciate you. This over overgoing, this ongoing attitude Gratitude also sparks a heightened esteem, esteem for life and an absolutely incredible life force. So expect great things from the great gratitude of the universe. Reward your general and appreciate. They will be, they're going to reward your generosity and your appreciation. So what you appreciate, they're looking and they see in Libra. So you keep it up because the heavens are help coming up to help you. They're coming for you to help you, whatever you're dealing with. Now we're going to the, we got the 16th, 17th, we're going to the 18th. You've got the balance card. I must create before opportunity disappear. Okay. You need to balance all of these out and you don't know how. You're running toward may chase it away. Be wary of being deceived by your own desires. You hear that, Libra? You know what I'm saying? And then here I take me with me with wherever I go, is there a part of my life that may be out of element with who I am? You got that? Are you hearing me? Okay, I must create before the opportunity to disappear. That's what you're, that's what the feeling you're feeling this day. And it says chasing illusions, health matters, Compulsive behavior, dietary imbalance, being restricted, orientated, self-neglect, honoring values. Okay. Okay, this says, let me give you an example. An agent arrives in town and it is quiet. Impressed with young Perwico, she often he offered him a contract and drops and he drops everything that once mattered to him to be available for fame, feeling sure that his big break is coming. He signs a contract with the AC, but there are no jobs. He is told he must wait for the right one. He learns that waiting for a dream is not a powerful and not as powerful as living and, and loving in reality. You get it? You got to balance that out. Some reason you told that and you fell for it. You got to watch it. You got to watch it because there's things out there that could be very bad. Okay, now we got the card that came out was you need courage. Courage. The courage card came up and it was upright. And the courage card says basically a man is, this is taking risk. You need to take some risk. A man in armor holds a sword at the, his side, ready to enter the dark forest. This is a time for great personal strength for you. Whether you realize it or not, you're ready to take a risk and attempt a new adventure. You hear that? You need to take risk and go for your adventure. Do your dreams. Don't sit back and wait because you're going to wait yourself out of it. You're going to wait yourself out of it, Libras. Now we're going to the 19th, okay? And the 19th, the card that came out was the workaholic card. 
The workaholic card. Okay. Here we go. Here it is. The workaholic. While I work, my life happened. Okay. Are you waiting to complete your career before you live your life? Busy work may be helping you hide from the real issues. Am I working too much and suffering from burnout? Is there something important that I'm avoiding doing? Feeling of um, transformation indicates not being fulfilled by work, heeding warning, refreshing your mind to improve your work, talents, fun, and friends. For example, Brad Blueberry paints a paint and paints. He has no time for anyone other than perfect, perfecting his paint, his art. An Elberry reminds Brad that one day he will be old and strive to, he, so he'll better live life to the fullest. Brad takes advantage and discovers that he's having full fun enriching and sharpening his art. He finds out that life is what makes work viable. You got that, you got to, and also sometimes we get burned out on relationships, burnt out what we're dealing with and so forth and they make um so we stay busy so we don't have to confront them so we don't have to deal with it and and that's not good you shouldn't uh be doing all that you hear me you shouldn't be doing all that okay we're going over here for the next card we got going on it's getting interesting ain't it libra well it's getting interesting to me i don't know about y'all but i like it's getting real interesting let me know about you how you're thinking okay let's see make sure i got the page that i'm looking at this card here is upside down that's why i had to look it up it says fragmental energies fragmented entity this card re reserves signals a time of focus and clarity for you there may be a less demand in your life or perhaps you didn't been able to set some boundaries and prioritize yourself you will find that the increased time along with your more relaxed attitude will bring your life into greater focus and fulfillment. If you've been in, in turning different ideas for some new potential project, now is the time to pick your path and go for it. Your, inter, your energy is finally coming together and you'll be able to direct yourself and your attentions into more jealous and rewarding outcomes. This is the time of great promise for you. You'll be able to put all your pieces together. The picture of your life will reveal a future so bright it will make you smile. You hear that? You hear that, Libra? You got to just remember, you you will be smiling. You just got to believe that. Let's go over to the next one. We're on the 20th now. We're on, the, on our last card. And this card is perfection. The perfection card for you. Is right here and it says I have the same high standards for myself as I have for others okay are you being too hard on yourself okay are you being too hard on? begin to look for what's right and good in your world and you will see it where am I presently focusing knowing what's right and telling others about it might not be the best way of being in other words talking to others might not be your best bet, okay? Seek perfection, deeply desire love, transformation ahead. Feeling anointed, okay? Feeling anointed. Friendship acceptance is what you equate, equating this. It says Raspberry needs no makeup. She don't need nothing, but she swears it's anything. She is perfectionist. She speaks the truth at the time, believing that she is helping others by sharing her truth, while statements such as a child is overweight or honest. They make others avoid her. Loneliness seeks the vice of her favorites, Elberry, who teaches her that honesty without kindness is, is cruelty. Her new vulnerability allows her to see the beauty in others as well as in herself. You have to see as well as in yourself. You understand that, Libra? I think I got it. I don't know about you, but I got that. Okay, the next card, we got the last and our only card left was deserving. 
okay? And it's upside down. That's the craziest thing. It says, okay, your true worthlessness. Your, your, your true worthlessness. Okay, this card is upside down. Okay, it says, this card reverse brings a very important message to you. You, your senses of deserving is ser seriously out of element with the truth. The things that you long for are falling apart because you you filled with doubt and feelings unworthiness. Such thoughts of self-elimination block the opportunities and outcomes you long for. So you absolutely must get out of your own way. Get out of your own way, Libra, because you are the cause of your own problem because you feel like you, you're undeserving for what you got coming. You need to stop that. You need to get your groove Get your group back. And I don't mean to say this, just like Stella said, if it's a lady, get your group back. If it's a man, man, get your group back. <laughs> but anyway, um, the energy is, um, that's so pretty in that picture, but you need to get your group back. You're too stuck in the castle. <laughs> You're about to be stuck in the castle if you don't get your group, get your attitude together. <laughs> but anyway, that's it for my Librans for July 16th to the 20th. And could y'all do me a favor? Subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. This is so appreciated that you listen to me and I like for you to come back. And I want to tell everyone, thank you for listening. And y'all have the blessings and I mean the bestest day you can. And God bless everyone in the world. And my Librans, take care of yourself. You are deserving. Remember that. Get over your fears. Get over your stuff and start praying that you do better and balance out your life and you'll be okay. God bless y'all. Bye-bye. Peace.